Take 2000. Action. Good evening. Welcome to another lecture in the Banjul Challenge 2018 series. This evening we will be talking about the great Japanese artist Katsushika Hokusai and his work on the great wave of Kanagawa. Who was Hokusai? Hokusai was born in the Edo district in Japan, which is currently known as Tokyo, in the year 1760. His father was an artisan, a mirror maker, uh, who uh, was commissioned by the uh, Imperial Palace to produce uh, some of the work. Hokusai was born with the name Tokitaro. The importance of the names in, in, in the uh, Edo era in Japan in association with, with, with artists is quite important and interesting. Hokusai um, uh, it was known to, for having ac accumulated at least 30 different artistic names over his lifespan. Uh, uh, he's most commonly known as uh, uh, Hokusai, uh, but each one of the uh, names could be traced to a particular period in his career. Uh, he, when he began painting at the age of six, uh, uh, most likely uh, uh, alongside his father, at the age of 12, he was sent to work uh, in a workshop and a lending li library where he was exposed to um, books made from woodcut blocks. Hokusai is uh, particularly well known for his uh, woodcut prints. We can uh, see here a, a modern uh, depiction of a uh, woodcutter in Japan. and the uh, woodblock of the famous uh, grey wave of Kanagawa. At the age of 14, Hokusai joins the studio of Katsukawa Shunsho, uh, uh, another famous artist of the uh, Edo period, uh, of the Edo period much older than him, where he becomes an apprentice uh, uh, woodcarver. He will remain at uh, Katsukawa studio for uh, four years, eventually leaving at the age of 18, where he goes off to set up his own studio. Uh, Sonsho, his master, uh, became well known for his Beijing Ga woodcon, uh, woodcut paintings. Beijing Ga uh, basically means uh, beautiful person picture. Uh, we can see here some of the uh, work uh, associated with uh, Shunsho, uh, his uh, uh, ladies uh, bathing in the, in the um, hot, uh, hot springs. Uh, Shunsho was an artist of Okiyo-e, uh, which is a genre of Japanese, uh, uh, which flourished between the 17th and the 19th century. Okiyo-e artist produce images on such subjects as uh, sumo wrestlers, kabuki actors, or um, beautiful geishas. Ukiyo-i is also well known for the depiction of uh, extraordinary landscapes with um, uh, Man Fuji particularly being at the center of, uh, of many of the imagery found in, uh, in Ukiyo-e art of the uh, 18th century, as well as um, uh, mystical and uh, folklorical uh, representation of um, um, Japan of the uh, 18th century, and the famous erotic art of uh, 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 the uh, term Shunga. Among the images also found in Ukiyo-e art, uh, it is the depiction of uh, flora, 
and fauna. Um, this particular image uh, was created by um, Hokusai's daughter, O A. This painting, it is uh, one of the only paintings uh, that um, has been certified that to have been a, 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 a um, collaboration of uh, uh, Hokusai and her daughter Oe. Hokusai himself painted the lion at the center of the image, and Oe, the daughter, uh, did the decoration. Um, Hokusai um, became well known in, in around uh, the 18, 1820s, when he was uh, in his 50s, for the um, um, production of uh, what it is termed today as Hokusai manga, uh, uh, which basically just translates as random drawings. Um, he worked at this time under the name Taito, and uh, we can, you could say that uh, 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 there is a, a slight relationship between the, the this early uh, origin uh, manga drawings uh, that Hokusai produced with the, with the current uh, modern Japanese uh, manga uh, uh, cartoons. Um, uh, Hokusai produced uh, thousands uh, of these drawings. Uh, uh, um, three uh, books were published, uh, uh, one while he was still alive and two uh, posthum posthumously. Uh, 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 containing over 15,000 drawings um, uh, uh, in total. Here we can appreciate an interesting drawing by Hokusai. Uh, uh, we can see interesting exercise uh, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of this, this men doing what it looks like yoga positions. It is for me the, the, the first time uh, coming across something like this. And so coming across this sort of information is always quite uh, uh, interesting for me. So later on, in the 1830s, he adopts what would become his last artistic um, name, Gakyo Rojin Manji, which basically means the old man mad about art. Um, it is during this period that he goes on to produce his famous series called the 36 Views of Mount Fuji, of which, in fact, there are 46 images. Interesting uh, 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 to note that. Um, uh, well, I'll show you a few selection of, um, of his images, uh, part of this uh, uh, famous series, which all concentrate on views of Mount Fuji, as the name suggests. windy day with Mount Fuji in the background. We can see here now uh, the um, use of the boats and the water and where the uh, influence for the formation of the famous grey wave of Kanagawa will eventually um, appear. Reflections of Mount Fuji in the water. Cranes and Mount Fuji in the background. And peasants on horseback, uh, on horseback, walking through a forest with Mount Fuji in the background. It's a particularly interesting image here. Uh, uh, if we focus on the, uh, on the lines in the water, the use of color and the use of uh, movement, which are uh, uh, common to eventually the, the the point of our of our presentation, which is the famous way, the grey wave of Kanagawa. Hokusai's most famous work was produced sometime between 1829 and 1833. Uh, but we can see that he had um, um, been exploring the movement of water and the drawing of waves for many years. This this is a uh, these are uh, drawings that are precursors to the, to the Great Wave of Kanagawa, uh, which were made three decades before the Great Wave of Kanagawa. This one is, is attributed to um, um, being produced around um, 1803. Later on, a couple of years later, in 1805, he produces the, this image. 
And so we can begin to see uh, here a, a, a thought process that lasted you know, a, an entire lifetime uh, of, uh, of observation and, and study. Um, we, of course, uh, uh, know now that uh, uh, Hokusai was extremely influential, influential in, the, in the Western world uh, 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 in art. Um, this is a, um, uh, a sculpture by Camille Claudel, the famous um, uh, Rodin's uh, lover. Um, the image has also been used in, in, uh, uh, in several uh, adaptations of, uh, uh, for, for other words. This is, uh, this is the, um, the cover uh, image for a uh, um, record by, uh, not a record, a, a, a music composed by Claude Debussy called La Mer. Uh, and I suppose we can say the great wave of Kanagawa has become an iconic image around the world. Its use, uh, it is, its use is found uh, uh, um, all over the world. Uh, and people had uh, produced um, all sorts of variations uh, of this uh, famous painting. We have the uh, famous Banksy as well as different interpretation with uh, colors, introduction of um, manga cartoons, extraordinary graffitis around the world, even memorial uh, um, sculptures. Um, this, if I remember well, um, it's a memorial for the um, um, the uh, an airplane crash. I, it, uh, I don't remember at the top of my head at the moment, but uh, it's to commemorate the the, uh, the death of a, um, uh, the, the people who um, who perish in this um, um, airplane crash. To um, STD, um, um, uh, sexually transmitted diseases. You know to to. Um, promote uh, the use of uh, uh, contraceptives. We find here something um, um, just done on a, on, on a dirty window. Of course, tattoos, one of the most popular uh, uh, ways of uh, uh, immortalizing the image is, uh, is um, people tattooing it on their own bodies. And of course, it's been hyper commercialized you can find it in anything from mugs to lampshades to fashion shower curtains uh, notebooks hats bedspreads cars even makeup so um one will uh, may may wonder what would um, the old hokusai May, uh, may, may think of, uh, of his work if he was alive um, um, today and, uh, and, and, the, uh, and how popular this particular image um, um, has become. It is said that in his deathbed, um, Hokusai had this to say, if only heaven will give me just another 10 years, just another five more years, then I could become a real painter. Thank you for being with uh, me this evening. Until the next time. Arigato!